The U.S. Intelligence Chief has acknowledged for the first time that agencies might use a new generation of smart household devices to increase their surveillance capabilities. Director of National Intelligence James Clapper said the spy agencies might use home internet devices for identification, monitoring, location tracking, and gaining access to user credentials. Clapper did not specifically name any intelligence agency as involved in household device surveillance. However, security experts believe that intelligence services will intercept the signals that the newly networked devices emit. They warned that thousands of completely unsecured web-connected devices are currently used by customers. The U.S. National Security Agency has previously come under fire for secretly spying on Americans' phone calls and Internet communications. NSA's mass espionage program was first leaked by the agency's former contractor, Edward Snowden. Former American intelligence linguist Scott Rickard joins us from Orlando. Scott Rickard, back in 2012, uh, there was a report that came out with Ray Odier Odierno uh, standing next to a washing machine that said uh, household appliances are going to start spying on Americans, and they may have done so already. Why don't you tell us how this is even possible? Well, it's extremely possible. Uh, it happens every day. Uh, every time you go through a toll booth, every time that you travel, uh, any kind of parking, any kind of Uber, any of the actual events that occur are the Internet of Things uh, where uh, data is actually produced. And that data uh, goes back, unfortunately, to the, uh, the transactional days of finance where banking transfers, uh, all of the uh, um, credit card uh, utilization that's being done. Every time you buy something on the Internet, it's all correlated and it all can be held uh, in databases. And this information is being preened uh, by very advanced software, uh, one in particular, Splunk, is uh, probably the most advanced software uh, a company that is the CIA and other intelligence agencies are using on a daily basis uh, to not only uh, uh, assimilate uh, the data, but also to uh, grade the data and, and to and put uh, priorities on uh, specific events where they can set up events that occur whereby they can actually react to those event events and uh, uh, focus in more on targets. And these targets are absolutely uh, uh, devices in your home, devices in your pocket, and certainly devices on your car and anything that you purchase. So what sets this apart from America being a police state? I mean, pretty much it seems like they want to control all the movements. Well, it's not actually as much control of uh, the movement, but being able to monitor uh, all of the movement. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the technology exists uh, to do this on a very uh, a broad scale. Uh, uh, sadly, the, uh, um, the government has absolutely no regulations uh, that are being enforced uh, to uh, stop it from doing it, uh, not only to Americans, but certainly to every other country and individual around the world. And as the, uh, um, as the economy uh, struggles uh, because of the financial issues and the, and the tremendous uh, uh, dependence on the intelligence and military industrial complexes, you see a, a big push for more and more of this type of technology. Uh, uh, this is uh, really a financial decision. Uh, there are tremendous uh, um, venture capitalists and financial individuals involved. Israel is directly involved. Uh, they do a, a deal makers summit. I attended the one in New York City last year, whereby all of the foreign ministry from Israel, all the dignitaries, all the, uh, the venture capital individuals uh, attend. You know, Dove Zakheim's son was there, Dove Zakheim was there. Uh, there's another one coming up in March in Silicon Valley at the Sofitel. I'll be attending that one as well. And you can see how embedded not only the intelligence community, but the geopolitical influences uh, that are involved in this. And it does. It does infiltrate not only the, uh, the American intelligence, but this, the privacy of Americans has been horrifically and catastrophically invaded. 